What's up, family? I want to welcome you to another exciting episode of PowerCast with PC. And this is episode number eight. And I, my prayer is that this uh, time of sharing is as much of a blessing to you as it is to me. I've said it before. I've said it again. It's becoming one of my favorite things to do. Would you do me a favor? Would you share uh, this video or however you may be watching or listening or whatever platform you may be on and let someone know that PowerCast with PC is on and let someone know uh, that it's a blessing to you. Additionally, I want you to go to our playlist if you haven't uh, had the opportunity to catch up and look at some of our older episodes so you can uh, get caught up to date with right where we are. We simply do this because we want to encourage you uh, through the Word of God to help you live your best life. And I know that there's so many uh, things going on, so many voices that are speaking, but I want to be a person. I want to be the person that encourages you and speaks into your life and speaks into who God says that you are. Additionally, go to www.cohines.org backslash prayer and get your prayer requests in. Of course, every day we're praying for you and every weekend, uh, myself and a team, we're praying for God's best and blessed for your life. And contrary to popular belief, prayer changes things. And most importantly, prayer changes you. We've been talking about Philippians chapter four, verses 19. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And we've navigated through this particular passage of scripture quite a bit. And I want to take it a little bit further We've already dealt uh, with uh, insecurity and how insecurity will allow you to hear God's word with a filter that causes you to believe the lies that you have trusted about yourself as opposed to God's truth about yourself. But I want to talk a little bit uh, deeper about the all things. He says we can do all things. So we understand that God is not the problem, that it is the I can. And the way that I fix the I so that I can is I've got to be transformed by the renewing of my mind. The scriptures say, as a man thinks, so is he. And so my mind is the number one weapon that's keeping me from becoming and doing and having the abundant life that God created for me to have. And so I've got to deal with this thing because if I don't deal with this thing, then I'm just going to continue to repeat cycles. I'm going to continue to do the same things over and over and over again. Now, the scriptures are very clear that we can do all things. Why? Because we were made in the image of God. We were made in the likeness of God. So we have creative power. We have intellectual power. We even have supernatural power. Simply put, you can do whatever you set your mind to. I'll say it again. You can do whatever you set your mind to. We wanted to go to the moon and we did it. We wanted to break uh, the speed of sound and we did it. We broke all of these barriers that seemed impossible, but because we have the ability to do whatever we set our minds to, I want you to understand that if you set your mind to a thing, then it will be accomplished. As a matter of fact, much, most of what you have accomplished in your life is what you have set your mind to. The problem is, is that we oftentimes, most of the time, set our minds to the wrong things. Now, if he says that we can do all things, then I want you to understand that that really introduces for us a great enemy to progress. And one of the greatest enemies of progress is distraction. I'll say that again. You want to write this down. One of the greatest enemies of progress is distractions. Why? Because I can do anything and be successful. But the truth of the matter is, while it is that I can do all things, the truth is, is that I was purposed to do some things. I'll say that again. Even though I can do all things, I have been purposed. I have been created. I have been called by God to do some things. And those some things are divinely and directly connected to my purpose. And my purpose is not what I do, but my purpose is who I am. I am not a human doing. I am a human being. And as a consequence, I've got to do some internal work before I start asking God to show me what I'm supposed to do. I need him to show me who I am. Why do I need him to show me who I am? Because most of us have grown up in environments where people have spoken things about us until they have gotten in us. I'll 
said it again. Most of us have grown up in environments where people have spoken things about us until they have gotten in us. And those things that they have spoken about us had more to do with our experience and not our identity. I'll give you an example. Uh, when I was 16 years old, turning 17 years old, I had my son and I I grew up in a house, I grew up in a home where I, I believe I was affirmed and encouraged and, and things were spoken into my life to, uh, that gave me the kind of uh, inner fortitude to be able to ignore what people say. You know how that goes. Uh, don't believe what people say. You, you, you are who God says you are. Some of the things that I'm sharing with you, those things were internally put in me. But as I had to, as I had to navigate through that experience, the more I navigated through that experience, the more the words that people said around me and about me, more they, the more they got in me. And I had to do some work. I had to really seek God. I had to really pray. I had to really, uh, really fight through not accepting what people said, that you'll be another statistic, that you're just another musician having a baby, you're just another PK that, that uh, is is uh, not doing right. And all, you know how those, those things that people say. And I had to really speak to myself and I really had to hear from God that I am not my mistakes. And I want to encourage you. I want you to know that you are not a human doing. You are a human being. You are not defined by your mistakes. You are defined by who God created and called you to be. And there is no mistake in your life that you cannot overcome. There is no mishap. There is no, uh, there is nothing in your life, no obstacle, no mountain. There is nothing in your life that you cannot overcome. And the way to overcome it is you've got to figure out who you are. God will reveal to you who you are as you seek him about who you are. And then once he reveals to you who you are, you've got to accept it. You've got to accept who he is because many times much of what we want to do has to do with money and nothing to do with our purpose. So what if you want to be a doctor, but God says you're a lawyer? What if you want to be a nurse and God says you're a doctor? Uh, what if uh, you want to be a car salesman and God says that you should own car dealerships? See, it's important for us to realize that what God has for us and most importantly, what God created us to be is big. It is not small. It is big. It is not small. You are the next big thing. And God created you to be big. And I'm not saying that uh, because I'm trying to just motivate you. I'm saying that because I'm echoing what God said about you. The scriptures say we are fearfully and we are wonderfully made. We are made in his image and we are made in his likeness. And so it is important for you to ignore distractions. How can I identify a distraction? A, a, a distraction is easily identified because it is usually grounded in past experiences. I'll say that again. A distraction is easily identified because it is usually grounded in previous or past experiences. What does that mean? That means that if you're talking to me about what I did, then you're not talking to me about who I am. If you're talking to me about who I used to be, then you are not talking to me about who I am. If you are talking to me about uh, eyes that I didn't dot and T's that I didn't cross, then you are not talking to me about who I am. And there's nothing wrong with people not being able to see who you are, but it certainly is something wrong with you not being able to see who you are. And you've got to be able to navigate through the waters of people's opinion. You've got to be able to navigate through the waters of people's uh, projections about you. You've got to be able to navigate through those waters and look at them and look at yourself in the mirror and say, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I have a purpose and that purpose is a part of a plan and that plan is going to produce a journey and that journey is called life. And as I navigate through life, I understand that I'm navigating through life in concert and partnership with God, the creator of heaven and earth. The God of all things is on the inside of me and he created me and he wants to walk with me and he wants to talk with me and he wants to help help 
helped me navigate through life. Some people say you get feelings in your gut. That's not just your gut. That's God on the inside of you, leading you and leaning you in certain directions. And all of those directions are connected to your purpose. Scriptures say all things work together for the good of them who love God and are called according to his purpose. And I want to encourage you that you are called according to his purpose. Don't let anybody and don't let anything distract you from becoming who God has created you to be. Because who God has created you to be is much greater than who you are right now. My prayer is that our time of sharing is impacting and empowering your life. Don't forget to go to www.clhines.org backslash prayer and get your prayer requests in because we want to pray for you. And while you're there, go to my website and just look around and see uh, some of the things that are going on. Go to my YouTube page. All of that is is, is uh, available to you uh, from our website. And I want you to stay posted because we've got some huge announcements and some incredible things that are going on. And do me a favor, if you ever see uh, any of our content, would you share it and let people know uh, that it is a blessing to you, like our pages and all of that uh, amazing stuff. And please don't ever forget to live better, love God, and serve people. I'll see you next time.